How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the concept of polymorphism in JavaScript classes. So basically polymorphism is the act of redefining a method inside a derived child class of a parent. So let's just see with an example. We'll go with the typical um, animal example. So let's just define a new class inside here and we'll call this one animal which obviously represents a generic type of animal, okay? So for the actual constructor, we're just taking a single argument. This will be um, just the name of that animal, okay? And we can set that to an instance property. So we can say this dot name is equal to the name that is passed in in the constructor. All right, so now we have an animal with a name. So Let's just define a new method inside here and let's call this method make sound. All right, this will take no arguments. Now, this method right here is the one that we're going to eventually override to achieve polymorphism. So, let's just say for a generic animal, we're going to console.log and we're going to say generic animal sound. Okay, so this is the make sound method that is present in the parent class of animal and it just says generic animal sound so if i was to make a new instance of this animal real quick down here um, let's just define a new constant and call this one a1 um, equal to a new animal and we'll call this animal um, dom all right and then if I say a1 dot make sound just like that we should now see that in the console let's just save this and refresh the web browser and we see that right there okay so that's fine now let's actually just um, create a new child class of this animal class and then override the make sound method okay so let's go down here and declare a new class let's call this class dog okay so a dog is an animal so let's just say dog extends animal all right cool for the constructor let's just take in once again the name and then call the super constructor passing in name so that means just call this constructor for the parent all right so we have this functionality right here now let's just redefine the make sound method and this is called polymorphism okay make sound this time let's say console.log and say woof woof all right okay so we are now done so now if i was to make a new animal down here or a new dog down here new constant call this one a2 equal to a new dog let's call this dog Jeff now we're gonna call the make sound method on the constant which is the type of dog let's say a2 dot make sound all right if I was to save this and refresh this time we get woof woof in the console all right so we can see how we're actually achieving polymorphism here by overriding the method inside the child class dog um, you know of that in the in the parent class make sound so we're just basically overriding it so if I was to um, comment that out in the child class and save and refresh we get once again the generic sound so um, what's happening here is it's actually checking um, on the dog class if it has that method if it doesn't then it checks the parent class and it uses that one right there all right so that's that's polymorphism i'll just show one more example um this time calling the super inside the actual um uh, overridden method so i can actually call the parent method inside the derived method so inside this make sound method i can say super dot make sound and that right there is going to call the parent class animal dot make sound so we'll actually see 
that message followed by that message. And this is common practice. You'll see how we're actually using the generic behavior and then adding on special functionality for the special derived child class. If I was to save this and refresh the browser, this time we see here generic and then woof woof. So these two right here are part of the dog.makesound method call. Okay? And that's how you can achieve polymorphism inside your JavaScript classes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.